we are uh, currently investigating. We have, uh, we're collaborating with uh, France and the United States and other friends are also uh, offering their help. Uh, so in a few days we should uh, know what, uh, what took place, what transpired. Clearly this is a very, very serious incident uh, because it uh, affects maritime commerce mm -hmm. and it comes also at a very, very, what I would call uh, sensitive and difficult period uh, in the region. So clearly we all have an interest at this time in uh, de-escalating and dealing with things mm -hmm. in a mature, rational way. You're talking about de-escalating uh, the rhetoric with Iran at present. Definitely, I think this, the whole situation is, uh, is, is difficult. We are where we are largely because of Iranians, uh, Iran behavior. Uh, this is a behavior that is not new to the region. Mm. This is a behavior that has been basically compiling. And clearly right now that uh, you know, the American sanctions on Iran are biting. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said that he fundamentally doesn't want a war with Iran, but if provoked or if US interests in the Middle East are attacked, they would respond. Are you tonight urging Washington to act with a degree of caution and restraint? We are seeing an escalation I think here, the, so are you the, concerned? The, the onus is on Iran. The onus is on Iran. Iran is the, the government that is responsible for where we are today. Uh, Iranian behavior over the last decade or two has led us to where we are today. There's very little trust in the region. I don't think the onus right now is mainly on Washington. I, mean, I think it's on Iran. You've talked a lot about the what the Iranians should do. I wonder, though, what your position is so far as what Washington should do next. Certainly, the US and the Europeans at present are disunited. Does that worry you at present? And once again, I wonder whether this urging of caution should not be to Washington. I think that the important thing is for the West to be more and more united. And I think it concerns us when we uh, see that the West is speaking with different uh, approaches. I think all these countries that you have mentioned agree that there is a problem with Iran's behavior. I think the disagreement is over the approach. I think there's a agreement across the board that Iran has been a disruptive force. 